Hello, here is Alesmith's Speedway Stout, one of the first widespread, very popular, revered coffee stouts out there. I have never had a straight, fresh, regular old Speedway Stout. Uh, I went to the Alesmith Brewery last spring and had the Vietnamese coffee rye barrel aged version which was amazingly good. And I also had the Thai one, with, which is this with the Thai spices added. I don't know if there's any coffee in it though. Um, maybe. And then I've had the regular Speedway, but like age two or more years um, to the point where we're starting to get a little oxidized and be quite different than I think it is, it is fresh. So finally I can, can have it fresh. This was canned on January 21st like the only cans that have gotten out to the East Coast. This brewery is from San Diego. <clears throat> so it's eight months old about, which is for a 12% alcohol. Imperial Stout is still pretty young in age. I would say things usually don't change drastically until like a year. And I want to notice the coffee in this one. Um, and it's weird, the blurb on the can says this will age beautifully, but then it also says larger on the can, drink fresh. Right there, you might be able to see it. But it pours very dark and has a pretty nice head. It's been sitting in my fridge for like, like three months or something like that. So I was trying to avoid any more uh, like fermentation or or anything that would not preserve the beer super well. I didn't want it to lose any sweetness or coffee qualities. And the head's sticking around pretty well on there also. Though the can was a little bit squishy, so things were mellowed out. But the carbonation is still there and head retention is really nice. Even though it's kind of humid right now, it seems like humid humidity always kills head. But it's not ultra rich and thick, but it looks good. Mm hmm the coffee is yeah it's not a gigantic overwhelming aroma definitely there definitely some American hops and just a hint of pine it doesn't seem like it's gonna be too bitter plenty of dark char it doesn't smell really sweet and molassesy or anything There's a touch of booze on there, but otherwise it's a nice, <clears throat> nice, uh, like really dark roast coffee aroma for the most part with the, you know, hints of, of barley and, and just a t touch of slightly piney or minty American hops on top of that. Hmm. Yeah. It might be a little, a little too bitter for my tastes. Let's see. Not a, not a really syrupy body. It's got some nice body that's a little bit silky. And there's some sweetness, but it's still really dark. It's almost, it has a little bit of that licorice -y, piney, minty thing that I get from some of these big, dark American stouts where they use a good amount of American hops. I'm sure they don't dry hop this or anything, but they did say 70 IBUs. It's extremely well made though. The carbonation is, is kind of perfect down there. The way it, it feels on my tongue isn't syrupy and rich, but it's just a little bit, a little, a little bit of a prickle of carbonation. It's just a little bit of silky body. I mean, for a beer with 12% alcohol, it's, it's not nearly your really sweet experience like a lot of these gigantic flavored stouts are these days. It seems like that's what's more popular to just make a, a really big sweet flavored stout. This one um, is not that, but they do a very good job of it and make it pretty palatable considering how dark and bitter, you know, the beer is through and through because there's the dark bitter malts, there's the coffee, and then they definitely use a, a generous left West Coast um, 
West Coast hopping on this one. But it's not quite overwhelmingly bitter and soy sauce and, and dark. At least on my palate. Yep, I've only had a few sips. And not a massive body. And, but the heat, I guess, is really mild. And then there's just a little bit of a, a fruity coffee spice. And I'm noticing more coffee now. Mm -hmm. Has a little bit of a a sweetened cold cold brew like dark dark roast but cold brew thing going on in the finish and just some some prickly herbal green hoppiness but not not a not a, an off-putting bitterness I would say they don't say what coffee they use specifically in this one it's probably I don't know a blend of whatever good beans they can get but they do make a lot of versions of this with you know one specific varietal of coffee I guess you might say this is very well balanced um, because a lot of times these bitter really dark burning charred charred multi stouts aren't really up my alley like the softer sweeter ones and this one's just has a, just enough of that just enough of everything to make it work out. Mm -hmm. And the, you know, the the 12% is not really noticeable. I, I would probably not have guessed that. Has a, the, I guess the flavor is pretty intense and it has some, some molasses -y, more complex uh, malt character coming out along with the, uh, the coffee. This is, yeah, this is a good beer to sit with and, and let warm up. The first sip, um, seemed actually a little bit, you know, hoppy and too much hops and char. That's what was really dominating the palate. But now I'm getting some of the more complexity of the fruitiness of the coffee and uh, some caramely, chocolatey notes from the malt. Really nice. I'd definitely give us a uh, a four or more. The barrel age version I had of this was as good as you know bourbon county style i had that rich and in, rich, richness and intensity without being that strong and sweet um and yeah this is like a very good beer i would say for for barrel aging mm. yeah. yeah and that finish is just it's getting pretty complex and, and a, a deep like myriad of dark but sweet toffee burnt burnt toffee and you know 100 percent dark cocoa molasses flavors um that's really nice even though at first the hops and the coffee are kind of covering that up and the yeah and the nose i'm not getting a lot of a lot of the aroma <clears throat> and tells me how complex the, the malts are in this but it definitely has that the body is, is substantial and yeah i wouldn't say thin but it's not gigantic and thick like some people want but it, it's just enough yeah this is this makes sense to me uh as being sort of the standard for your coffee imperial stout for the last i don't know 10 years or however long they've been doing this one and it kind of carries that flag of that era of craft brewing um that makes it in a way that even i can enjoy mr dessert stout man that i am great beer goodbye